Well, hi guys, I'm Celestia Shadows, and welcome back to Was. And apparently last time I made the wrong choice, so... Because this choice leads straight to a bad ending. And so the right answer is this one. Being stronger takes priority for me. Huh? I... I know. But pointing out what hurts me most. I've been so absorbed in training with Lynn that I skipped helping out at the church to visit her. And it's the fact that Rosary and the children complain to me every time I return to the church. But I have to be strong. I really have to get stronger as soon as I can. After meeting with Nina, I think I'm feeling pressured. There isn't much time left, so I can't waste my time helping them at the church. I hope Rosary will understand that someday. They've got a point there. Is it really okay to ignore them, boy? Hey, I can understand you want to be stronger, but I don't think it's good to skip your work. You... you agree? I think they would do fine without me, just like in the old days. Uh-huh. I don't hate to see them getting better, but I don't think it's good to ditch anything else. I should talk with Rosary about this. Lynn is thinking in silence. I'm pretty sure she's thinking about my work at the church. But in the end, me getting stronger will benefit Rosary, the children, and the church. That's alright, Lynn. Let's go get back to training. We're wasting time. Okay. So I continue to spar with Lynn until late in the evening. When it becomes too dark to see her movements. The basic training she told me to keep doing was finally paid off. If I had skipped it, I'd probably be too tired to even move right now. And running is good exercise too. I run all the way back to the church. I used to think Lynn's place was pretty far from the church. But now, I'm tough enough to run the whole way easily. I'm glad that daily training worked on me. Rosary stands in front of the church. She waited for me? How nice of her. Hey, Rosary, I'm home. I'm home? Do you know what you just said? I take a closer look at Rosary, but she doesn't look like she's welcoming, welcoming me back from training. She's so frustrated. You left your work until this late? Where did you run your off to? Oh no, Rosary's angry, angry now. I didn't wander off at all. I was training with Lynn. And you were training with Lynn yesterday and the day before too? You've been out training with her every day. Yeah, I can't skip training or it'll take more time to make up for the days I skipped. Hey, is your training more important than your work in the church? Rosary scolds me again. How come followers of God like to berate people so much? I'm sorry, Rosary. You don't seem to be sorry. Are you just saying that? She's falling about of me harder than usual. Can all the work at the church get done without me? We were doing fine before I got here. And it would be inefficient if I helped them, so things will actually go more smoothly if I'm not here. Tadayoshi-kun, are you even listening to yourself? Huh? I just think it's best I'm not here. If that's what you're talking about. Na How? What are you doing? My right cheek suddenly feels hot and sore. She slapped me so hard, it keeps getting warmer. Ayamatte. Tadayoshi-kun. Apologize now, Tadayoshi-kun. Apologize now. Why should I apologize? I haven't done anything bad. Rosary's biting her lip and trembling. A big teardrop is about to fall from her eye. Can't you understand? What you must not say? 
She stopped calling me Karuyoshi-kun. This tells me she, that she's really angry now. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. That's it? Don't be silly! The sound of a loud impact echoes through the church. She slapped me again on the exact same spot. That hurts. Why are you so angry? Do you realize what you said? Did the training with Lynn make you lose your ability to understand others? No. What? Her words get on my nerves. Fine. It's my own fault I've been skipping my chores at the church. But that's nothing to do with Lynn. I didn't mean that. Why don't you try to understand me? A tear falls from Rosary's big brown eyes. Why would anyone get so angry over skipping work? Huh? Huh? You don't understand me. I have to shout loudly at her. I want to be strong to be able to pre protect everyone. Why can't you understand that? The more I think about it, the more frustrated I get. What a stupid, wrong headed bigot you are! Huh? Doesn't that mean you're being a stupid, wrong headed bigot too? Rosary's face is red with anger. I hate women for being sentimental like that. Alright. You don't want me here, right? What? Julia's better than me at housework. And Alan and Mirna work harder than I do. I can't help them at all. So, I should just leave. I can't control my anger, and I keep on talking wildly. Why? Why would you say such a thing? Rosary is crying. I know it's bad, but there's no turning back. Huh? I'm only telling the truth, taking my abilities into account. So be it. If you insist, do whatever you like. Go anywhere you want. Yeah, I will. After those words, I turn around and run from the church at full speed. <laughs> Somehow that does not seem better than the bad ending, but oh well. Why are women so messed up? <laughs> I could understand you, kid. You don't need women in your life. Tariyoshi kun, come to me. No way, seriously. I've been sitting at a corner stall complaining. Rosary's not even remotely blameless. She gave me all sorts of hell just for skipping a little work. Master, give me another round. Hey, hey. Got it. The master of the stall refilled my mug. Hey, 
The boy seems drunk. Did you give him alcohol? No, I only gave him water. He's just pretending to be drunk. Yeah, no booze for kids. You can have this boy. Free real false. I have no idea what you're talking about, but no thanks. And I wanted alcohol. No, not water. Give me booze. <sighs> Spoken like a true man. I agree. There are days when you just want to drink it all away. Master, I'll pay for his drink. So would you serve him one? What the hell are you thinking? Hell no. The woman's right. If he does, some big influence will remove him. Well, that meatbag over there keeps on saying some pretty kinky stuff. You should realize that. I don't see a problem. Just one drink won't hurt. What do you say, kid? Oh, you're so reasonable. I agree, one drink won't hurt anyone. Fine, fine. I'll get you one then. The master pours some alcohol into an empty mug. The smell of alcohol stings my nose. This must be the real deal. I wonder how it tastes. I grab the mug with great interest. Bring it close to my mouth then. Ouch! What are you doing? I drop my mug, breaking it and spilling the contents on the ground. You're too young to be drinking! Oh no. It's you, lad? It's your guys' fault, too. Rosary keeps telling you not to give alcohol to kids. We do as she says, and we get food from the church in return. Am I wrong? Lynn oh. <sighs> gazes at everyone, and they all become quiet. I'm going to take him with me, to give him some lessons. Don't, don't drag me like that, Lynn. You ruined my clothes. Lynn grabs me by the neck, and she starts dragging me. Don't argue with Rosary if it's gonna make you lose yourself in booze. How, how did you know that? I can read your mind, remember? All your thoughts are clear for me to see. <sighs> yes, I remember her ability. I can't hide anything from Lynn. There's no point in trying to either. But I guess it makes it's my mistake that I started to like him. Lynn, what did you say? Nothing, but hey, do you actually understand why Rosary's so mad at you? Yeah, it's because I skipped work at the church. You know nothing. You're still a sheltered brat. You say that too? Glenn sighs deeply. Have I done something else wrong? So, what are you going to do? No idea. I don't think you can return to the church anytime soon, since I told her I'm leaving. It's too soon to return to the church, but it's too dangerous to sleep outside. I've become familiar with some of the people in the slums, but not all of them. If I try to spend the night outside, I'm sure I'll be robbed and killed. If you have nowhere to go, come stay at my place. I'll beat some character into you. What? Lynn, is that okay? I kind of had a feeling that Lynn would give me somewhere to stay. If you sleep outside in the slums, you're going to end up in big trouble. And you're too weak to mess with me. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. It means she trusts me. I know Lynn's really strong. I can't risk pulling a prank on her. She's been beating me so badly in sparring, 
I think it would be funny. Wait. I think it would be funny to scribble on her forehead. Wait. One could have just read that thought. But I not think like that. Glance at Moon's face tentatively. Don't look at me. Is there something on my face? Phew. Seems she didn't pick up on that one. So I guess she doesn't just pick up random pick up random thoughts when she's not trying. Someone, please treat me kindly. I'll beat you to get you stronger, so be prepared. I think that it's for cleaning the cell. So I started living living with Lynn. It's like an apprentice living with their master. Well, I do the housework while I'm here, like cleaning and washing up. Lynn does the cooking, though. But she doesn't exactly serve me home co her home cooking. Instead, she buys us ready-made food. But I can't afford to be choosy. I realize more than ever how lucky I am to be able to eat on a daily basis here. Washing clothes is a difficult task. Fill the wooden basin with water, then wash the clothes with a washboard. Not bad if I say so myself. I feel a sense of accomplishment as I look at a shirt I wash by hand. Next one, huh? I pull a thin black cloth from the pile of laundry and fold it to see the cloth has a beautiful triangular shape. Wow, does Lynn really wear stuff like this? We agree that we wash our own underwear, but Lynn must have actually put some of hers in my, on my pile. I washed the children's underwear when I was still at the church. Hesher did, her, did hers on her own. But it looks too small. I don't see how it could actually function as underwear. I've never seen panties like this before. Small and thin compared to the briefs I wear. I'm part of what it must feel like to wear. Boy, what the hell are you doing right now? Washing, isn't it obvious? おぼっちゃんには下着を but it's pretty obvious you're ogling, ogling it, yeah? Uh, absolutely not. Okay, I'll wash this one for you. Naruhodo. Sorega Obotchano, Konoyo de no Saigo no Serif to Naruakeka. Very well. You have just breathed your last. Breathe your last. Yeah, you just breathe your last. One grabs her underwear from my hand and punches me hard. No. Uh, oh, why? It's your fault. I hate men who get off on looking at women's underwear. One says in disgust. Cheeks are red, but it's because she's angry. Or because she's embarrassed. Hmm. Can't take my eyes off of you for a second. I better explain before she really starts hating me. I'm not turned on by this. Who get excited over a little scrap of cloth like this? I see Lynn's eyebrows rise so high. Uh, did I make a mistake? That pisses me off too! Why did she hit me again? I'm sure I didn't say anything weird. You better wash those dirty thoughts out of your head before you wash those clothes. One shouts and leaves. Women are really hard to understand. 